We're going to be playing Deltarune today. Uh, Deltarune Chapter 1, which I have not played. I have not seen. I have not uh, caught any spoilers of. I've, I've seen... I saw, like, a screenshot today while I was getting the promo graphics ready. And I've seen some fan art. Um, and that's it. Uh, I also have never played Undertale. <laughs> Um, I have only experienced that game vicariously through other people. Um, so this is really exciting for me. Because um, as much as I have never played Undertale myself, I have watched, I don't know, four playthroughs of it at this point. Um, and, like, it's a little cheesy to say, but that game means a lot to me. Um, it came to me at a very um, difficult time in my life where I was going through a lot of a lot of change and a lot of like self-discovery and yada, yada, yada. Um, and it was just so, I mean, the, the, the reveal at the beginning of spoilers, if you haven't watched Undertale, but also if you're here and you haven't seen Undertale and you're worried about spoilers, I'm very confused by that. Um, but the, the like reveal at the beginning where, so, and if actually, if you've played Undertale, you might not know this, but if you, if you kill Goat Mom and then restart the game and then go back and you don't kill Goat Mom, Flowey knows that you killed Goat Mom and comments on it. <laughs> and from that moment, I was immediately hooked. Um, but, like, I didn't, going into watching that game, I didn't know that you could play the entire game uh, nonviolently. And so I was, like, so impressed. Um, I watched a uh, Dodger Dex bonus um, play it, uh, and I was just like, it 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 just floored me um, that you could have a game that where like violence was an option, but it was like so not necessary and not even the default way to play. Really, um, I I loved that. It it hit me like a ton of bricks, um, and you know it's it's great. It's great. It's a great game, um, and it came. I watched Undertale, Life is Strange, and Sibel, I think it's called, all at about the same time. Um, and they all really, like, you know, as I was going through this rough period, they all really opened my eyes to what games could be, you know, as someone who had previously been, like, Assassin's Creed fanboy. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, and also, like, Legend of Zelda, obviously. Like, lot I had played lots of games before then, but I hadn't really... It hadn't really occurred to me that you could have a game where it's, like, not really about fighting. And it's about, like, emotions and and connections between people. Um, so, yeah, Undertale. Undertale. Big deal game for me. Um, that said, I do know that Undertale was a very, like, meta-heavy game. Like, it, it, it exists both within the game and outside of the game in terms of, like you know, restarting the game, the game logs that you've done that and that sort of stuff. Um, and so I haven't even opened Deltarune on this computer yet. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me as I get it set up in OBS Live. Um, but but yeah, uh, really quick, let me just get, make sure that we have like the right overlay and stuff and we'll head over to this scene and open the game. We're gonna open survey underscore program, all caps. Um, let me set this to Delta Rune. Are you there? It says. Are we connected? This is not full screen. Bear with me. Oh, this is not what I mean to move. Excellent. We're just going to stick it over there for now. Truly excellent. Now. We may begin. Okay. Whoa. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. Whoa! 
So many options. This one looks like Frisk. Or, this one looks kind of like Frisk? I don't know. They all have, like, a little bit of that. I mean, it's only a couple pixels, right? Um, let's go with, um, let's go with this one. Select the torso that you prefer. I like how it just, like, swoops the head over. Um, these are, like, all the same. I guess this one has short sleeves. This one's got, like, a... It's like a jacket situation. Um... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, this one. I'm gonna try to center this a little bit more. Hopefully my head being a little over the frame won't bother you. Legs. Are these... These are all the same. These are all exactly the same. This is... Creepy. <laughs> Sure. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yes. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Pain? The fuck? Okay, actually. Actually, give me just a moment. I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some OBS shenanigans. Move this here. And then Just a just a second. Bear with me. It'll be worth it, I promise. I have a little little graphic in the background here. Boom. Production, we're doing it live! <laughs> I'll move my face just just a little bit over. There we go. Um, favorite food is salty. Yeah, I'm guessing pain is spicy. Your favorite blood type? Um, I note that O isn't an option. <laughs> D also is. I don't think D is actually a blood type, is it? It's A, B, A, A, B. And O? Right? I don't know how blood types work. <laughs> A, B, A, B, and O. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna go with D, because it's the first letter of my name. What color does it like? Cyan! Please give it a gift. Oh. 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 Having to choose between these is hard. I'm gonna go with kindness, though. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear love. I love this good bean. Have I answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? Uh, yes. Understood. Name your vessel. Well, <laughs> what a way to do an epilepsy warning, right? Yeah, like, is that what they mean? Uh, in classic Undertale fashion, I'm going to give it my own name and assume, assume that this is not the character I'll be playing. Anarasis. Yeah, spelled right. We called it Anorisis. And what about the creator? Oh, my own name. Can I go back? Can I change the name? Shit. Um, 
Fuck it, also an RSS. <laughs> we create ourselves every single day. Also, am I quiet compared to the the game? Because this game is loud as fuck. I just want to know if I should drop it for stream. I can always edit volume and post for YouTube, but I'm quieter, but not super quiet. Am I steer still audible? Like, should I turn the game down, or...? I'm still audible. Okay, we'll leave it for now. And I'll adjust things in post for YouTube if I gotta. Anarasis. Of course. Of course. Of course. They are the same. Hey! Anarasis. Thank you. For your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris! Oh my god, Toby Fox, you absolute... absolute mad lad. <laughs> Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, all right? I should be doing like a Midwestern mom accent for her. <coughs> we look like death. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. There's nothing useful in the drawer. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. <laughs> There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it, filled with old books. It's stained. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Closed drawer. Your bed. Interesting. Wow. Okay, a couple things I'm noting here. It's a beautiful day outside. A couple things that I'm noting. Um, the left side, I mean, look at all of this stuff. And, and it's like literally brighter. Everything's yellow and gold. Uh, we have trophies on the shelves. We have a picture of a flower on the wall. Like the lamp is brighter. And then over here, everything is gray and barren, and the descriptions just closed drawer. Your bed, that's it. So interesting, okay. A cactus, there's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer, their labels have long faded, and there's no green. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. It's only you. The door is locked. Oh, I'm so excited. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tales. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. <laughs> This is not Goat Mom's house. This is a different house. This is a new house. I guess it's probably an above ground house? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stovetop. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. <laughs> it's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. <laughs> a 
It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. It's a book of hymns. Oh, Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Ah, shit, I missed a door. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Asriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Oh my god. I don't trust this at all. <laughs> oh, oh fuck, I'm gonna cry. Not the music. That literally immediately made me tear up. Oh. So, does everyone have a... Oh! C Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so, walk around and find a partner, okay? <laughs> Crisp! Awa! Oh, uh, Verasaurus, Tem already have partner. <laughs> okay. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. But <laughs> not, I actually want to get an A. Damn. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here. You want the candy cane one, or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. <laughs> this is amazing, I love this. <laughs> click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Chris! You know Jockington and Caddy are always partners! We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. <laughs> oh. I love this. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her! <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! Okay. Will Alphys be our partner? W what? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. Uh, animated schoolwork. And... Hey, hey Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? <laughs> I love Alfie so much. Yeah, let's be partners. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alfie, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort! What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying you were fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? Hi, Susie. Am I late? Oh, no, you're fine. We were just, uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Hmm. Great. Uh, 
Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh. Uh. Has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. How about this, if no one speaks up? Everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? P please? Hey, there might be box in the supply- Er, uh, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't you- Susie and I. Good idea, Noelle. Susie, s since you came in last, why don't you go get it f for me? Uh, whatever. <laughs> and, c Chris, can you go with her and make sure she, um, actually gets it and, um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say. Chris. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Huh. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel... ...about losing your face? Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. And it'd be a shame to make her bury her child. All right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. Damn! If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Damn! Interesting. Can I pause? Is there a pause? Oh, no. If you hold escape, you quit. Um, It's so interesting to me because Undertale was all about your choices mattering and there. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? <laughs> at this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads <laughs> and screech at any students that make contact, contact while dancing. <laughs> um, Undertale was all about choices and this game is very very explicitly subverting those expectations. Um, I'm I'm not entirely sure that choice won't matter over the course of the game, eventually. Uh, the locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Uh, but it's very, it's very intentionally being like, no, fuck you, fuck your choices. 
Um, because, you know, Undertale is such a, such a big game. Um, and it's like next to impossible to go into that game without knowing anything about it at this point. Um, that you could pretty much guarantee that anyone playing Deltarune has some prior knowledge of Undertale. Um, so it's interesting to see Toby Fox very explicitly being like, take all of those assumptions and get rid of them. Like, just shove them up to the side. They don't apply here. This is a different game. Uh, same setting or similar setting, different game. You drank from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Chris? What, realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Hey, actually I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Susie's a bitch. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. I'm not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. It's a hell of a closet. Uh, hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the holdup, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Hmm. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hmm. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alfie's wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Door close? Yep. W what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. Huh? The floor, it's... We're in different clothes. We're in like armor. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Save. Interesting. So it said Chris at first. Hold on. Oh, I wonder if I just... Ooh, I wonder... Ooh, I wonder if it's different if you don't write over the save. Because it said Chris before, and now it says a narcissist. Hmm. That's the player. Interesting. Okay. Is 
Some wibbly wobblies. Oh, there was a figure up there. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, can we look in these? It's too dark to see anything. Okay. There's an eye on the wall here. Alright. Okay. There's two of those eyes, but we can't do anything with them. Pitch of those things seems to be going up further. <sighs> but maybe I'm just imagining things. Yeah, now it's back down. There are these holes in the wall, but we can't do anything with them. It just says it's too dark. It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark to see anything, and it's too dark to see anything. We can't interact with... Oh, there we go. We just walked down it. My bad. Okay. This is probably fine. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Ease. You got the glow shard. How do I, how do inventory? Hmm. Oh, I don't like the black stuff leaking out of the eyes. Oh, this was, this is probably bad. Oh shit. Okay, that's different. Okay. Might be C, it is not. You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. The pain you had melted away. HP fully restored. Eye puzzle. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Huh. Oh, it's one of these. Boom. Easy. <laughs> this is a pretty lengthy section where it's just not explaining what's going on. Which is interesting. We slide down. There are these big sleepy mounds. There's a person moving very quickly. Hey, hey, back off! Come any closer and I'll... C Chris? Whew. Hey, don't scare me like that, idiot. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. 
Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. All right, Susie. Lead the way, Chris. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. <laughs> oh wait, can I sprint? Oh, I can if I hold shift. I move faster. Hell yeah. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Uh, not good. <laughs> Run, Chris! Uh, uh... Ow! Fucking hell, that hurts. Chris, down here! Ah! Ow, fuck. Ah! I can't keep track. I can't. My brain is not built for this. <laughs> I would have been so bad at Undertale. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. I wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Dude, look at the design of this place! With all the, like, Buildings wrapping around. Ah, oh, so interesting. Um, let's go this way, sure. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Who's it? Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. My Undertale! Okay. <laughs> no! Yeah. Very well, then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope and of dreams. It was a legend of light and of dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. This was in the Undertale DLC. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Jesus! Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. 
a human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angel's heaven. That's a lot of proper nouns. Only then will balance be restored. Or restored. Restored. And the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form. Stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. Oh. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. It took about two minutes. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. But what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. B but Susie, without you, the the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Uh... Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. S Susie, wait! <laughs> Fucking rip! Ho, ho, ho! The heroes are already running away! I've committed to this voice. And they didn't even know I was here! My dad's gonna make me set of the month! Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy! You clowns want to steal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Uh... Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you get there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. Uh, really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Lancer busts in! Uh. Check. Not to call a spade a spade, but he's a spade! <laughs> Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire! <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Oh sh shit, Susie! Halt, clowns! This bike is fueled by victory! Ow. <laughs> Don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies! Sweet wheelies! Oh shit. Ow. Lancer's writing it out. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. So what are you guys doing after this? Oh, nice. You try to compliment Lancer again, but he sees it as insincere. His attack power goes back up! Did you not realize I mask my self-esteem levels? Wait, wait a second! My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos! You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the losers will be you! 
<laughs> Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. You won. Got zero XP and 44 D dollars. <laughs> uh, are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Uh, um, all right. Uh, uh, so cute! Also, that's an anagram of Asriel. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ralse. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I, um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here, um, my whole life for you two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Hell yeah. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. Oh! <laughs> Ralse, I, I... I cannot. Ralse, the Lonely Prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you? <laughs> ah! This is a perfect game. <laughs> oh my god. Are there people here now? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked, and no one's inside. Okay. Alright, Susie, we're coming. Oh! Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Yes. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul. The culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So, uh, please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world. There's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. You hug Ralsei. Chris? Um, I don't think, um, this is what you're supposed to be doing, but... <laughs> Let's try fighting. You hugged the dummy. Huh? Chris? You'd rather hug it out than fight. Uh, you know what? That's fine. We don't need to fight. Okay, next let's try defending. Simply shield, and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? If you had, um, hit the enemy, it'd be tired now. In that case, we use my pacify spell on it. It'll fall asleep, and we'll win peacefully. Oh. Ralse, cast Pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Remember when you hugged the dummy by acting on it? Because of that, its name turned yellow. Now by using the spare command, you can win. Hell yeah. Chris spared the dummy. 
Great job, Chris. That'd be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. You won, got zero XP and one D dollar. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, er, in case you ever need a refresher, I, uh, here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Uh, press C to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. There we go. Whoa. I can't, I can't equip nothing. How do I shift to back out? Okay, shift to back out. Config. Master volume. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna turn this down to a level that doesn't hurt my ears. Oh, there we go. Controls. Confirm is Z. And cancels X. Okay. Auto run. On. Back. Items. Uh. Glow shard. A glimmering shard. Its use is unknown. Okay. Cool. Uh, I really like that they added that pacify spell um, and the TP system. Turn up the... Is is it, like, too quiet now? If it's too quiet, then fuck it. I'm just going to turn it back up. <laughs> and I'll just turn down volume in my, uh, in my headphones. How are we now? Do we want to do, like, 80%? Is this good? <laughs> 80% is good? Okay. Um, I really like to have that pacify spell uh, in the TP system because it lets you use combat without, I mean, presumably, without killing people. Um, I'm, I'm curious if there's like a no, like a hitless, like don't hit anyone ending and uh, hitting people but still pacifying ending. And then... Uh, like, oh my, the great door is opened. Uh, and a, uh, uh, like, uh, genocide ending. No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Uh, Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold, foretold exactly by the prophecy. But, Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry, is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Hell yeah. No, I was... Oh. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Lots of doors dramatically closing behind us. Within the door closed behind you... Uh, or with the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. I love this so fucking much. <laughs> like, how do you follow up Undertale... The field of hopes and dreams. Enemies ahead. You're gonna die. Signed, Lancer. <laughs> ah! Rudin drew near. Attack six, defense zero. This ambivalent diamond isn't any girl's best friend. <laughs> Shine, shine. Oh. Rudin is glimmering plainly. Uh. Lecture. And then. Oh, oh, wait. I'm learning the control scheme. Bear with me. 
Uh, let's save up for heal and just defend. You lectured the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemies became tired. <sighs> what? Okay. I'm noticing that we get TP when we almost get hit. Rudin is starting to fall asleep. Well, let's just defend and then pacify. Ralsei cast pacify. He won. Got zero XP and forty D dollars. Yeah. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Signed, Lancer. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna turn off. Uh, auto run. Because it's tripping me up. Hold on, let me read this sign. Hey, don't read this sign. It's a work in progress. Signed, Lancer. Hey, Lancer. Ho <laughs> ho ho! If it isn't my two favorite people. Psych! You guys aren't even in my top five! Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ho ho ho! You fools, you're too late to stop me! What did you do? Ho ho ho, it was so simple! She beat me up, so I ran away! That's a bit anticlimactic. Yeah, Ralsei's defend is to wrap his little scarf around him. It's so cute. These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use C to open your menu. You got it? Signed, Lancer. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one. Yes. You got the dark candy. I'm gonna leave the other one. I'm not greedy. Hey! If you head that way, my troops will thrash you! Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Let's go. Oh, there's two of them this time. Um... Lecture. A necklace of rudens blocks your path. Uh, defend? You lectured the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemies became tired. What? Okay. Nice. Rudin is starting to fall asleep. Oh, they're both tired. Nice. I'm gonna try convince on that one, and then we'll pacify this one. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Nice. Spare! Rudin is starting to fall asleep. Nice! You won! $63. Hell yeah. Who are you, pray tell? Mamma mia, ba! I'm Top Chef! My latest cake worked me to exhaustion! So I took a little nap, but Mamma mia, ba! A scary noise woke me up! A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal. I spritzed it with water and it hissed and ran off, but my wonderful cake is... Aw, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. Mamma you know that beast? Please don't come back. <laughs> Mama Mima. <laughs> the remains of the cake are still <laughs> smoldering. Take a piece? Yes. The broken cake was added to your key items. <laughs> broken cake. 
Oh, this is perfect. This is everything I could have wanted and more. Rudin and Happy blocked the way. Uh. Uh. Happy. Cross flatter? You ordered Ralsei to flatter all the enemies. We don't need XP. Just encountering your smile is reward enough. Ow. Ow. Let's spare... Hathi. Could we pacify? No. So... Oh! Oh, we can spare as... As, uh, Ralse. Okay, yeah, let's spare. Chris spared Hathi. Ralse spared Rudin. Hell yeah! You won! 60 bucks! Dang, we're fucking rich. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one? Yes. You got the dark candy. Check the clock. In order to solve this puzzle, you'll have to hurry. Uh, shit. Fuck. I don't think we were fast enough. Alright. Yeah, we did it. Hell yeah. Can we just walk down there? No. Field, maze of death. Oh, okay. Behold the maze of death. Prepare to get lost, clowns. Signed, Lancer. Okay. Sure thing, buddy. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among trees. Or er, among these trith, twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Signed, Lancer. It's some sort of enemy. Looks like they got clobbered. Oh. Oh, Susie. Hey, wait, where am I? Help! Somebody help! I'm lost! Signed, Lancer. <laughs> you opened the treasure chest. Inside was white ribbon. You put white ribbon in your armors. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it'll look great on you. Okay. Um. Chris. White, white ribbon. A crinkly hair ribbon that slightly increases your defense. Cuteness up? Cuteness? Cuteness up? I love this game so fucking much. Hey, don't look! This sign's private! Signed, Lancer. Oh, it's just this way. Signed, Lancer. Oh, hi, Lancer. Oh, <laughs> somehow you survived the maze! But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Let's see how you fare against this team! The Hathies blocked the way! Cross Flatter. Out of anyone, I'm glad we randomly encountered all of you. Hey, aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. Ugh. And that's, um, unusual somehow? Why don't we talk about this after the battle? <laughs> oh my god. Smells like a soft kiss. The animations are fantastic too. God. So good. Oh, ouch. Hathi is whispering a lovely spell. Great job, Chris. 
we earned 0 XP and 92 dollars. Sweet! How much do I get? You lost, Lancer. You don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No. Fine. Later, losers. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I want to check the other pathways, though. <laughs> oh, hi. Whoa. Wait a minute. Even if you're an enemy, I've got to warn you. A purple beast is roaming, clobbering anyone who dares block her way. <laughs> we don't even like fighting. The the king left us no choice. Summer! Hi, welcome to the perfect game. Uh, oh, Chris, we need to stop Susie quick. Um, hi, th we're playing Chris, and this adorable blue child behind us is Prince Ralse, and he's the best. We were earlier healed by the thought of uh, f cute fluffy boys. Zup. I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. <laughs> ha! Wait, uh, how do I how do I do that? Wait, can I just go? Oh. There we go. Ugh, open up, you stupid door! Oh, great. It's you guys. Susie, we were ever so worried about you. Um, how'd you get past those spikes before? Walked through them. But this door sucks. Aw, uh, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. Uh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes, proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. Hmm. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yep. Hmm. Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fanfare. Susie joined the party! <laughs> they really cued the fanfare. Uh, Susie follows at a distance such that no one can tell she's associated. <laughs> 